Hey guys, Josh here. So today we're gonna go down and we're gonna shoot the FN 509 Compact Tactical. I'm actually gonna be taking the Canic down there too, but this review is really for the 509 Compact Tactical. So we're gonna head on down to the range now. We're gonna throw some first shots down range. We're gonna try about four or five different kind of ammo. And then we're gonna come back after that and I'm gonna talk about the pros, the cons, and what I think about the gun. So stay tuned. By the way, guys, I know I've done a video on these before, and I'll link it down in the comments, but if you haven't got you a set of these Axle Ear Pros yet, you need to go get a set because they are awesome. All right, guys, we have the FN 509 Compact Tactical. I've been wanting one of these for a while, so I am really excited to shoot this. I haven't sighted in the optic yet, so we are just going to be going off the suppressor height sights right now, but I wanted to give you all first rounds out of the gun. Let's see how she does. <laughs> she did not disappoint guys she did not disappoint at all it is everything i was hoping it would be it is i am extremely happy with it that's just the first 12 rounds guys so stay tuned for the rest of the video but for the first 12 rounds she did not disappoint this is probably going to be my new edc I've got pretty close to getting her sighted in, guys. That was 10 right there. Those two were already in there, so that was 10. I can handle that. All right, guys. Just got back from the range. We are empty here. Let me show y'all, because you know the ammo Nazis will be trying to say that I'm not empty and I'm waving around a loaded gun, which I'm not. So, pros and cons. Uh, best pro is it feels amazing in the hand. Um, I really do like the way it feels. For a little gun, because, I mean, it is considered their compact. It shoots like a big gun. Like, it really does feel in the hand like I am shooting a full-size gun. That I will say. Con to me is the way the magazine, or not the magazine, I'm sorry, the slide catch, slide stop, uh, slide release, whatever you want to call it. The way it sets, because I do always, we talked about this before, keep a super high grip on the gun. It's me, not the gun. Uh, I have been holding down that slide stop and uh, keeping the slide from locking back on the last round. Um, other issue that I had is FN does say that you don't have to use Loctite uh, with their system and that the screws will Loctite in or will automatically lock in. I didn't have that. Um, have that. Mine actually, after about the first 10 rounds, my screws did start to work, work itself out when I was trying to side in the optic. So I will be putting Loctite on the screws. Um, outside of that, I mean, the trigger's not great. Now, everybody does say that the triggers on these will loosen up over time. With that being said, the trigger's not bad. Like, it's really not a bad trigger. It's just, honestly, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Of course, the I am used to shooting Glocks, and, and most of my Glocks do have, like, Timney Alpha triggers, so I'm running, like, two, three-pound triggers in most of those. Um, so, I mean, it could just be me that I'm used to a lighter trigger, but I will show you up close. Like I said, we are empty. We got quite a bit of take up here. I want to say FN says that this is between a five and a seven pound uh, trigger. I mean, my, mine's on the heavier side. If I had to say, I'm probably about six, six and a half pounds. I don't have a gauge to read it, but I'd say it's probably about six, six and a half pounds. So I am really hoping that that lightens up over time. Uh, but like I said, we're, we're not going to count it out yet because it's not a horrible trigger. I'll show you this, the, the reset on it. So there's the reset. It's very tactile. You can hear it and you can feel it really good. And then there it is again. So, all in all, I mean, I, I do like the gun. Like I said, my, my biggest thing on it was I didn't really love that trigger. 
Um, like I said, hopefully that loosens up. But other than that, guys, overall, the sights are great. It does have the Tritium Night sights on it, suppressor heights. I mean, those are great. They co-witness amazing with my Hollow Sun 407C here. So, I mean, all in all, guys, what I suggest that I would, this is going to be going to my EDC uh, for, I'm, I'm going to be dropping the Glock 43X because that's what I have been EDC and I'm going to be dropping that and I'm going to be picking up this, guys. So, uh, which I have been wanting one of these for a while, so I'm a little biased. Like I said, as long as this trigger can get broke in, I'll be in love, but especially for a carry gun, like I said, I'm not going to be using this for a competition or anything. I, I can deal with the trigger. It's not bad. It's, it's actually probably a pretty good weight for EDC. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Till next time, this has been Josh with Tennessee Gun Room.